All right, so let's watch FSD perform some very uncomfortable maneuvers at roundabouts. Right now, we're coming up on the roundabout, and we're at about 15 miles an hour. And the reason why the car slowed down is because there are cars in front of it. But as you can tell, we're at about 15 miles an hour, and so it has to kind of slam on the brakes at the last second to get us down to zero as this uh, Honda Accord passes in front of us. Now, from here, the car decides to go left, even though we actually need to go right. And so it's making an unnecessary lane change uh, to go to the right. Now, why is this happening? I have my own theory on why this is happening and why I believe this will continue to happen for a very long time if Tesla continues down the same uh, development path. The way I see it, there are three types of driving. You have your simple driving, your evasive driving, and your complex driving. Okay, so your simple drives are just going down a road or coming to a stop sign or coming to a red light. No, basically just normal road stuff. No weirdness is happening. Uh, when it comes to that, the full self-driving system is so far ahead of uh, any given person. I will say it's already superhuman. It will never it will almost never make an incorrect decision it'll always get you home safe so long as it's a simple drive now for your evasive driving i think fsd is probably as good if not better than the average person because what it will do is it will more likely than not not uh, not get you in a situation where you have to perform an evasive maneuver um Meaning that if someone is coming into your lane, it's going to slow down way ahead of time to give them space to make uh, whatever move they're making, uh, thereby avoiding the accident. Uh, so it's very good at evasive maneuvers in that way it, because it's very preventative. So uh, that's another huge plus for, for Tesla and FSD. Where I believe FSD has the biggest issue is on complex driving. So complex driving covers a wide array of scenarios, everything from that roundabout I just showed you, to merges, to construction uh, zones, and uh, potholes. Basically, weird things that human beings are like, huh, that's weird. I need to do something different. That's where FSD will continue to fail for a long time because in order to get to superhuman level, following the current architecture, Tesla's just going to need just massive amount of these strange edge case data and as we can tell when they try to train the fsd system on these edge cases it creates some other weirdnesses in places where you know where the car used to used to drive perfectly fine so as elon musk has mentioned in the past it creates an overfit situation uh, because you're essentially uh you're because you're having an er doctor as your general practitioner OK, so now I think this can be solved a couple of ways. The first is the current path that Tesla is on, which is to just find enough edge cases and feed it into the system in a way that it doesn't mess up your normal driving, your, your simple drives and your and your uh, evasive drives. OK, now I think that path will take a very long time to get to to, to figure out what that balance is. Maybe I'm wrong, and, and as far as I can tell, they're, they're moving pretty fast, and so there's a good chance I am wrong. But what I would like to see them try is to have an additional layer above the simple drive for the complex situations. It would essentially be a neural network that kicks in in complex situations. So look at this uh, scenario, for instance, right? Coming up to this roundabout, it's going at 35 miles an hour because the roundabout for now looks like it's empty. And so we're moving at a pretty fast clip right around 13 miles an hour. Now there's a car coming through. We're doing well. We can move right through. However, there's a car on the right, but the Tesla chooses to go left. And then over here, it switches back over to the right, even though there's a car in the right lane and there's a merge coming up, which means we need to go back left again. So it unnecessarily switched lanes. In this case, it should have kept the left lane. So what I see in all my drives, and I drive on FSD for, I'm talking about at least 
a few hundred miles every single week. And so, and I, and I drive it in the in cities. I drive it on the highway. I drive it in every scenario that you could think about on a regular basis. And and so it becomes apparent to me how a car's behaving. Okay, so what is missing is the a complex layer that takes a look at the map data of what's coming up ahead in the, on the map data, and will logic out what's gonna what what how the car should behave. What it needs to do primarily is establish that this is a complex situation which requires a little bit more which requires the car to be a little bit more careful now there are an endless uh, ways that you're, you're going to encounter a complex situation and so what i would like for it to do is it's essentially taking snapshots of the road and in a very human way think about where this where the risks are as well as the safe path because that's what people do. When we come across complex situations, we automatically, we, you could feel it inside of you where you, you're, you're just a slightly bit more heightened, even at a roundabout. You just feel like, you know, okay, I need to pay a little bit more attention. And currently the car doesn't have that ability. It seems pretty obvious to me. Where it doesn't have the ability to make itself pay a little bit more attention in certain scenarios. And that could be even if you're driving through a community and you're coming up to an intersection where there is no stop sign, but your gut feeling tells you that there should be a stop sign there. And more, more, and more likely than not, the reason why you don't see a stop sign is because it's obscured by a tree. And then you, the, as you approach the intersection, you will see the stop sign. But what will happen with FSD is it'll either at the last minute slam on the brakes or run that stop sign. And it seems, again, obvious to me the reason why it's coming across this mistake is because it's not able to handle complex drives at the moment. And I'm not sure if there's an enough amount of data that you can feed into the system where it will understand. Actually, well, um, let me take that back. There is a certain amount of data that you could feed into the system where it will recognize these scenarios automatically. I just feel like there's a shorter path to, to that goal. And on top of that, Mining the amount of data that you're going to need is going to take a very long time. Plus, the overfit issue is very real, as we've seen uh, with FSD uh, 4 branch. So this is just my take on it. I absolutely love driving on FSD. I absolutely love this Tesla. And uh, I wish Tesla the most amount of success as quickly as possible because it is such a great car it's gonna save so many lives it's already saving so many lives so i'm not a hater i just wanna i just want to put my thoughts out there on a potential solution to getting us to truly full self-driving a little bit faster